Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbox here. Welcome to episode 2 of the Leon career mode. And yes, we now have a game that we're going to be simming against Leicester. We're going to be hopefully signing a few left a left back and a right back in this episode as well. And then maybe we'll see. Maybe we'll go and look for another player, whether it be a striker or a centre back. We'll just have to wait and see. But this is what we first have to deal with. Just getting through this game unscathed. I don't care if I lose or win. We win anyway and there's no injuries. Great. I love it. Now for those of you that missed the first episode, I recommend not watching this episode, going back and watching the first. But even if you have still, I'll explain it again. We're, ch we're currently chasing a few left backs and right backs. Uh, one of the left backs is Lucas Digne or Digne, but uh, $17 million right here. They uh, That's what PSG want for him. I put down about $10 million for him. The play is worth about five, but still, either way, we're going to put down $15 million again. Try to be a tight ass, save a bit of cash, and you never know. We now have another, wow, uh, game coming up. And no, Lavin Cursor, why actually they do want $17 million for him. They won't. Can't stop that. Can't save that little two million, which is unfortunate. Gregory Van Der Veel, however, has accepted. Now we're currently chasing two right other right backs apart from Van Der Veel, who are, I believe, uh, Cavanda, who we're going to have to pay a lot for, and uh, 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 what am I trying to say? Martin Montoya, who's a Barcelona right back, who's going to be very, very hard to get and very expensive. So I'm most likely going to end up signing Gregory Van Der Veel. But we're going to wait and see how those other two pan out first. Lazio have accepted for the seven million for Cavanda, whatever, but still four million. Uh, and six years. Yep, I'll submit the offer there. We'll see what they say about that. They want way too much for Martin Montoya Barcelona, so I'm pretty much essentially just fucking noping out on that one. That's not happening. It's either going to be Cavanta or Van de Ville for the right back spot. But now we have a big game coming up, a friendly against Barcelona, and it's the same with PSG. They also want 17 million. We just can't save that extra two mil. One last friendly that we just need to hopefully not get injured in. We've won every single one of our friendlies. This would be a big game to win against Barcelona. Skipping, oh, Neymar from a penalty. But really, apart from that, nothing fucking happened in this game at all. Vadimo got a yellow card, and then Neymar put in a penalty, and then nothing else happened. The game just stopped. There weren't even any fucking substitutions in this game. Luis Pedro Cavanda has declined because he could be persuaded, which means we need to pay him a stupid amount of cash. And I'm not even going to fucking bother if that's what you're coming back at me with. So forget about Cavanda, forget about Montoya. We've just signed a right back and his name is Gregory Van Der Veel. 26 years of age, 77 rated. So immediately he's one of the higher rated right backs we were looking at, which is fantastic. And we now have a player which is about five years younger than the current right back that we have, even higher rated and has hopefully a ceiling that can maybe get him into uh, toward the mid 80s. That'd be terrific. So this is the team, how it looks at the moment. It's exactly the same, apart from Gregory now Van Der Veel at that right back position and Jale or Yalet or whatever is now the substitute uh, fullback just on the bench. So after the purchase of Gregory Van Der Veel, we now have a transfer budget that looks like this. We have 92 grand worth of wage and $17 million. So that's right, I now can Probably Lucas Digne, his wage is a hundred grand and Kurzawa is at like 50, but he wants around about 80. So I'm just really hoping that 80 is going to be enough for Kurzawa because at the moment, we're not probably going to be able to afford Lucas Digne. And we definitely won't be able to afford him if he wants a higher, you know, if he wants more for him. But anyway, another approach made for Commander, but we really don't need to worry about them. And see now, uh, this is the thing. He wants, he's a hundred grand. He wants no less. And yeah, no, this will... This never, this would not work. This does not work. I'm sorry, but I'm going to try it either way. 92. I don't know. I'll just add another five in there. 20%. It means nothing. I don't know if that's going to help us in any way. He's not going to take a freaking pay cut. I don't even know why I'm bothering. Crucial first team player. Doing everything I can. Because at the moment, that is all I can offer him. And I don't know. It's, it's pretty much pointless in me doing that. Hopefully, we get another transfer to come through soon. And maybe we can still hopefully get bring in a little bit more cash to get him. Kurzawa has accepted. So even though he's still a great signing, I, I really want to get Digne. But either way, I'll stall for now. Give it a few days. Hopefully a transfer offer can come through. I will ask the board for a little bit more cash. And by a little bit, I mean a fucking little bit. I don't even need that much. But I get the feeling that they're not actually going to give me any cash. It's very, very rare that they'll actually give you some money like right from the get-go. So... Like one mil, like one freaking million. That is literally all I need. I promise you I'll win the league. I'll reach the semi-final, I'll reach the semi-final. I don't even know why I'm doing that. I don't, you never get, you don't really get punished for this anyway, but oh, I can almost guarantee you it's not going to work, but hopefully we'll see. We normally learn within about the first day. There it is. Contract off. Oh my God, he's accepted. He's taken a freaking pay cut. Holy shit! And even though the board didn't want to fucking give me anything because they're a bunch of cheapskates, he's bloody accepted a pay cut! I can't believe this! 
I don't know if it's the crucial first team or the 20% bonus, which does fucking nothing, but he's actually taken a pay cut to join Leon. Kid, I fucking love you and I want you and you are in the team. You are our new left back. This is why I'm really happy about getting him. I mean, you look at his physical and mental attributes, they look fantastic. His skill attributes look really, really good for a defender. And then I, you just picture that in a few, after a season or two, how good those stats will be. And then, as well as that, because he's coming from PSG, I'm pretty confident he might have an actual real face as well, which, I mean, you know, it's not too important. It's got nothing to do with, like, how he's going to end up as a player. But it's just a little detail that I just fucking love. The first game is coming up. We did sell Nguma, and now we play our first game. It will be at home against Stade Renons. Renes. I'm going to have to fucking take up French courses if I want to keep up this career mode. This is the lineup that I'm going to be going with into my very first game with Leon. Got to get a win in front of the home faithful. Come on, we got to make it happen. All right, everybody, welcome. First game of the season in League One against Stad Rene here. This is a reminder of the teams for you all. Well, Lacazette and Yatara are up for it. I've got Benzia on the bench. Might rotate him in. Gorkouf, Grenier, Fofana, and Gonalons, the midfielders. No wingers in this formation. Digne and, uh, of course, Van der Veel are the two new fullbacks. So hopefully they can push up forward as well. And this is the away team again. There's a few notable players, some I'm aware of, some, and the rest I'm just not really sure about. But hopefully we can just go at them, get an early goal. That's what I'd really love. But then again, it's a new formation without wingers and I'm really, it's a new game for me. So I'm going to have to see how I go with it. So here we go. New season kicking it off. But before we do, I'm actually going to remind you of something. Just another reason, ladies and gentlemen, why I've decided to do a Leon career mode. Goalkeeper, real face. Lopez, real face. Van der Veel, real face. Bezovic, real face. Da um, not Dabu, Kone, real face. New signing, Digne or Digne, real face. Gonalons, real face. Still going, Fofana, real face. Grenier, real face. Freaking awesome, Gorkov. Real face, Yatara. Oh, Yatara, you're letting the team down. But yes, he has a real face as well. And, oh, well, no, he doesn't. And now, this is Lacazette with a real face. 10 out of 11 players on this starting 11 have a real face. Some real face players on the bench and even in the reserves. That's why I, it was just a minor detail, but I love it. But let's kick off the season. Come on, we need to start this off positively. Get a win. Oh, and it looks like we've already taken out one of their players. Stay down, bitch. Come on, yes. Within two minutes, he's fucking... We've got a player down already. Or they've got a player down. And it's Lacazette, who's just steamrolled him. Great tackle. Fantastic. And we're our way again. Come on, let's go. we got a three. We've got a run going on there with Lacazette. This would be something special. An early goal from Lacazette. It's a goal in seven minutes. The early goal has come from a counter. And it's only Lacazette that's gone and scored it. Look at this. Relatively tight angle. Takes a touch. Sets himself. Bang. Keeper. Side netting. It flies right past him. Excellent start. Seven minutes. I thought it'd take a little longer to get that goal, but this is a great positive start to the game. They have a man down, and now they've got a goal down. But then again, they might just be getting it back very, very quickly. Hopefully not. Yatara and Lacazette need to combine here. Let's go. Yatara, how much pace have you got? Probably not as much as Lacazette, so work something for him. The through ball is there. Back in the middle. Lacazette, two. Oh, it's right at the keeper. That's a fucking shit shot. Come on. I love that. There's a bit of width there. Nice from Fofana. And in the middle... And again, lay it off. Shot. Lacazette. Interesting touch. It still falls to him. Just select the fucking player. My God. What was that? Okay, now a bit of width. Try cross. Little one. Who the fuck is there? Seriously, what is that? Another pass. Another pass. One more. I want that run. Nothing's there. Yatara. Stop flopping around like a moron. Let's go. One more. Another fucking slide tackle. These dirty pricks. Stad Renee. They're going in all the time. Is that a red? He's gone. You are a dirty prick, so that's why you're going off. They're a goal down, they're a man injured, they're a man light. That's, oh, wow, it's not getting it, it's not getting better for them. And look at this, there's a bit of a gap opened up here. I wonder if I can just run into this with Lacazette. We'll see. They've got a bit of pace, they're closing him down. No support, though. Yatara doesn't want to run. There he is, he's got a bit of space. I'll unload, why not? Oh, he just, just wouldn't fucking go down. Gravity just fucking, just did not exist for a few seconds on that shot. Oh, shit, he's made the turn here, and he's going to go all the way. Oh, it's hit the post, thankfully. I think the keeper had it covered anyway. Another one. Lay it off. Gone along. What's your shooting like? We're about to find out. Oh, it's bloody good. Just got to keep it down. They're working it wide. They've had absolutely no attacks all game. But this could be the moment with five minutes to go in the game that they actually do it. But it's punched away by the goalkeeper brilliantly. Cleared away. Please tell me they've pushed a whole bunch of numbers forward. I think they have. Work it. Work it well. Lacazette, you've got pace. You're a bit tired, but just run. Someone get in the middle. I want to maybe set up your Tara. Or do I just go for it? Yeah, I'll just go for it. That was an awkward finish, but it's the finish. It's the second goal for Lacazette. Beautiful stuff. Look at this finish. He just stops on a dime. He hits it awkwardly off one step, 
And but nah, that's it. Game over. Finished. I ke the keeper should be stopping that as well. A brace for Lacazette. Time maybe even for a hat trick, but you never know. 30 yards out now. Okay, look, I tell you what, I have a genuine chance to score from this as well, so I'm I'm gonna do the right thing. Sorry, Lacazette. We'll let the free kick take a we'll let the guru take this. I've already taken off bloody uh Gorkov. I would have got him to do it, but we'll go with Grenier instead. <sighs> Come on, kid, that might be too much. Maybe not. Oh! Ho oh ho! Side netting. I thought I'd put it enough to the right, but apparently not. And who do you think got man of the match? Yeah, pretty obvious. Lacazette with a 9 rating. Uh, subs, Gorkuf got a 7.4, which is good. Yatara did well. Van de Ville got a very good rating, and he was very influential. I am very happy with that signing. Jeez, we play one game. Three days later, we play Lens, and then the next game up, and then two days after the Lens game, we play another game. Jesus. So I did make it to the game. So I did make it to this Lens game without any transfer business popping up. No players that I'm looking to buy or looking to sell. So that's going to be it until this next episode, of course, where we'll be playing this game and hopefully finishing off the January transfer window. There are still a few games left to play, so it might happen, it might not. Having a look at the table as well, every team has played one game, at least one game. And yet somehow there's only been four teams that have actually won. Mo uh, Monaco, Lyon, ourselves, PSG and Marseille. Everyone else has either drawn or four, or four other teams have lost. But yeah, guys, until we get to this next episode, we'll play through it, hopefully until the end of the transfer window. And that'll be it for me. Uh, my name's Masterbucks. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe if you haven't already. And peace out. Bye-bye.